Hey, good Tuesday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Main theme here is fairly calm temperatures, upper 20s to low 30s, but some spurts of snow. One of them mainly this afternoon and this evening across southern lower Michigan. So let's get into it here. Here's the current radar. By the way, the National Weather Service upgraded their display of the radar and i found it to be very clunky and slow so if you have used that in the past for your radar and you find that the case uh, you're not alone but you could see a well-developed area of lake effect snow in the northern part of lower michigan from charlevoix to gaylord you can see lake effect trying in the southwest grand rapids down toward the uh, indiana line the next disturbance over there in Minnesota and Wisconsin, that's what will come through this evening and kind of enhance the lake effect snow across the state. So let's show you that on the radar forecast here. Hey, good morning, Robin Lease from Eaton Rapids and Debbie Hop from Central Lake. Good morning to you. Here's the radar forecast and you'll see the big thing to know is that this evening, uh, roads could get a little bit on the slick and snowy side in the southern third of the state. So we're going through the day today, and you're going to have lake effect up in the north. Now we're at 4 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock, and that's when the lake effect starts to develop in the southwest corner around uh, Grand Haven and South Haven and Benton Harbor, St. Joe. And then we're at 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock and uh, 9 o'clock. Hey, good morning, Brenda Strahl. Hey, we all need some sunshine. It's so gray. This is um, 9 o'clock, and that band of lake effects starting to develop and come across I-94 through Kalamazoo and toward Jackson. And then eventually, as we get toward midnight, heading into the Detroit and Ann Arbor area, but also starting to break up. So it won't be a big snow in the southeast part of the state, but it will be at least something that could make roads quickly uh, slick. This is the total, total snowfall through here. And you can see the southwest corner, uh, Grand Haven down to Benton Harbor, St. Joe, uh, looking at probably two to five inches of snow. Jackson, maybe one to two, and then east of Jackson toward Ann Arbor, Detroit, Flint, less than an inch, but again, still can get slick if that happens in a just a couple of hours time period. Hey, Jan Hansen, good morning, and Frida Dermeyer, good morning to you, Connie Lynn. Uh, now, in the north, in the north, Gaylord, Charlevoix, Kalkaska, east side of Traverse City, um, tip of the mitt, looking at three to six inches, and in the eastern UP, looking at up to nine inches of snow today on lake effect snow. What will happen after that? Let's take a look and go out into the future, see if there's any full-fledged storm systems in our offing. And I'll just tell you, no, there isn't right now. So we're uh, looking at the European, and we're going to go out into the future. Good morning. Lisa from Frankenmuth, Michigan. Tomorrow, if you have to travel tomorrow, dry conditions. Winds turning out of the southwest should end the lake effect. Once in a while, when the lakes are warm and it's, and it's cold aloft, we can get a southwest flow lake effect. It usually hugs pretty close to the lake. Keep an eye on that if you're going to be driving right along the shoreline tomorrow, but it's not real likely. This is tomorrow evening, so again, dry. And then we go into Thursday, and Thursday night, Friday morning, dry, a cold front dropping south, just the back edges of it, a little bit colder air as we head into the weekend, nothing as far as storm systems. Our next storm system, so to speak, looks like it's going to be sometime late Sunday or Monday, and, and here it is. A little bit of a change in the pattern in that we might start to get storms out of the southwest, at least a couple of these. And, you know, something like that bodes well for a solid blanket of snow Monday into Tuesday. 
And as we go out to the end of our model run, 10 days out, another one of these weather systems. So maybe a slight change in the storm track here coming up and some hopes for snow. If you want to, uh, if you are a snow lover, I guess I should say. Hey, good morning, Coldwater and Shirley O'Connor. Any snow for next Wednesday? Moving back to Michigan, says Mary Ann Petaconi. Hey, welcome back to Michigan. Next Wednesday's pretty far out. You're going to have to ask uh, when we get a little closer. Six to ten day forecast. Let me get it so that you can see. And uh, Bannister, you're just looking at an inch or so. Driving to TC on Friday. Dry roads. For the most part, you know, we're in that time of the year where you hit, always hit a patch of some snow showers here or there, but 90% of the drive should be dry there. Okay, so 6 to 10 day forecast, January 24th to 28th, about normal temps. And I showed you those two storm systems that could bring us some notable precipitation. Then 8 to 14 day up to February 1st, and uh, temperatures trying to inch maybe slightly warmer than normal, which is still cold at this time of the year. You know, you're still looking at highs of 30 to 35 degrees in that time period as we approach uh, the 1st of February. And precip uh, kind of calms down to about normal amounts. And I'll leave you with one last thing, the details on the temperatures. Uh, Sue Peterson traveling to southern Indiana tomorrow, coming back Friday. Clear roads. Uh, before we look at the temperatures, let's look at that for Sue. Bear with me here a second. Got to find what I want to show her. All right, Sue going to Indiana and back tomorrow into Friday. So tomorrow is dry. That's the middle of the day tomorrow. You should have pretty good weather. And that's Thursday dry weather. And this is Friday morning and Friday afternoon. So, yeah, I think you're going to be A-OK -okay until you get back into Michigan and maybe you get into some spotty snow showers. All right, now, finally, high temperatures. Eh, 31, Detroit, Ann Arbor, 30 in Flint and Saginaw, and 29 in Grand Rapids, and 25-ish uh, in Traverse City. Not bad for this time of the year. Uh, Wednesday, upper 20s for highs, mid 30s along the shore, western, uh, along the Lake Michigan shoreline. And then Thursday will pop up into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees on a stiff southwesterly wind. Then Friday, back down behind the cold front, upper 20s to about 30, mid 20s Saturday, upper 20s Sunday and about 30 on Monday. So yes, we do have slightly colder air on the way, but still nothing that looks uh, extremely harsh on the way. So there you have it. We're gonna see the snow pick up this evening. Don't get me wrong, southwest corner, Kalamazoo, South Haven, Grand Haven, you'll get snowy this evening and that will move, drift across I-94 to maybe Jackson, and maybe occasionally Ann Arbor and Detroit. Then we're looking at a dry day Wednesday and a warmer day Thursday before we start another cool down into the weekend. Next storm system, not until early next week. Uh, good morning, Pamela Tovar from Croswell and Jenny Steele still in Florida. I've seen that message a little while now. You must be a snowbird there. Uh, Denise, I better leave Chicago this morning, heading back home to the Thumb. Yes, I would, because that drive from Chicago uh, along I-94 this evening probably will be slow and moderately snowy, I guess I would call it. Hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. We do this every morning about this time. Let your friends know, and you have yourselves a great Tuesday.